Many of us are now wondering what to do with all of those turkey leftovers. Maybe you're getting yeah. tired of those turkey buns. Do love them, but how many can you really eat, right? Exactly. So here with some great ideas is home economist Sue Spicer, and it all starts with a master mix from the turkey leftover. How familiar does this guy look? Have right? you got that on the camera? We sure do. We're going to bring it up for you. So it is the bird that yeah. is just hanging out. There's Absolutely. some bones. <laughs> there it is. And you look at it and, you, and it's overwhelming. It is. It's it overwhelming. Is. What am I going to do with that? Um, I honestly encourage everyone, if you still have that in your refrigerator, if there's stuffing in it, you might be in trouble. Right. Yeah, I don't this is like when that I get idea. The, the gloves on, I mm. just do this, and then I just attack it. And I get it all <laughs> exactly. off that, and then I get it to this stage, which is where you want it, right? Exactly. That's okay. where you want it. Put it in the bag. These are the, these are the chicken bones, or sorry, the turkey bones. Right, right. Put them in the freezer. Deal with it later on a nice snowy Sunday afternoon. Right. Make a soup, simmer oh, it, roast the bones, then love simmer it. it, and you're done. And you don't need to worry about it right. anymore. Look at, see, so it's gone. It's gone. It's love in the it. freezer. And Deal then with you're it left later. with all of this fantastic meat to work with. Fantastic uh, program here. It's called a master mix. This is all you need for a master mix. Is for two cups of uh, turkey, of cubed turkey. Stock of celery, a pepper, half an onion, a clove of garlic, right. and you saute. And you saute. Now you're Just saying don't even get it too soft. Don't get it too soft. Okay. You want nice color. You don't want to get it browned. You want it because this is the beginning of the master mix. Okay. And then you just put in the cooked turkey. Give it a stir, combine it. It's off the heat. You don't. You've already cooked this turkey. Right. You don't want to cook. You, you, you don't want to cook it again. You don't want to cook no. it three times, twice. Right. You know, because turkey can get dry. Sure can. Yeah. yeah. So just mix it together. Put it in. I love our this. favorite bags. Label. Right. Oh, turkey see, mix. Label. Smart. Date it. So turkey. We know. Turkey mix. Twelve sixteen. And. Layer it up for the amount that your family requires for a meal. Maybe it's four cups, maybe it's one cup. So this is the great tip right here, is getting it in the bag and labeling it. Because then it's yep. at the freezer, and you know things get buried. Kids are digging around in there. You know what I do? Like, oh, when did this I happen? put these all in a bigger bag, so I just oh, know that you? this bag has the master mixes in it. Perfect. Okay, so we've got the master mix got ready the master to go. master mix. Okay. And then you're set to go you're for set all to go kinds of things. For all kinds of things. Like we have some pasta. Okay. Pot pasta in the pan. Okay. Dump the master mix in there. Just put the master mix in there. We have some leftover uh, broccoli. It can oh, be anything. Yeah. Frozen vegetables are sure. your best friend come January. A little cream. Love it. And I'm just using a little pesto mix. A little jar of pesto mix. A little jar of pesto mix. This is amazing. Boom. I love this. Nutritious. Convenient, delicious. Okay, here's a question for you. I can't do dairy, so if I wanted to substitute the cream with like an almond milk oh, or yes. anything like that, that would be fine. Oh, coconut milk. Coconut milk. Yeah. We've got some great recipes okay. that are, will be uh, um, available. Dairy. Okay. And in that master mix, we've created a uh, burrito. It could be. Oh, you said fajitas. Yeah, you yeah, guys we do did fajitas. fajitas. Yeah. Anything, Mexican and Turkey, wonderful. Yeah. Um, there's our pasta, a shepherd's pie oh, with the course, leftover right? leftover veg, a little uh, top it off with potatoes. This has got coconut milk in it. It's a Yum. turkey curry, mm -hmm. frozen peas, and the master mix. Coconut done. milk, curry, done. Wonderful. Crepes, just for something a little. When oh. I make crepes, I always make extra and freeze them, oh, layered okay. between. And it just kind of makes a fun, like that can be a Sunday night dinner, it can sure be a brunch. Can. And um, oh, turkey and crepes go fantastic. Mushrooms, I would not have thought of that. That's mushrooms, fantastic. Chili, soups. Oh, yes. Yeah, any casserole. There isn't anything that turkey doesn't add a great source of protein to, a lean source of yes, protein. It's so healthy, right? It's very healthy. Yeah. Wonderful. So some fantastic options here. You can skip the turkey buns, get the master mix going, yes. and you're good for months, arguably. Yes. It's absolutely. In the freezer, Three it's to four to months in the freezer. Perfect. Sue, so thanks so much. Well, you're welcome, Leah. Fantastic ideas yet again.